Sorry, I got one of my German Shepherds in here. What's up, my YouTube family? I am back at you again with another video. I just kind of wanted to post this video and kind of thank uh, thank the thank the guys out there, maybe some gals out there for the 500 subs. I appreciate it. Uh, I uploaded a short. It didn't really pop like most of my shorts do, or not not most, but the majority. I guess it is what most means. Uh, but anyways, I was just you know thinking thanking you guys for 500 subs and it doesn't seem like a lot but like <clears throat> honestly like it's a good good amount for a short period of time like you know i never sat on this like started messing with this youtube stuff for like to blow up or anything I honestly like me and my buddy were talking about it the other day and he'll watch this he'll know who he is um i try like i'm gonna try not to name drop uh Anyway, because like I've been blessed, and I say that because I've been blessed, not just like him, but like people that I talk to on Instagram and people that are kind of in the community, uh, just the gun community, the AK community, stuff like that. Like I asked pretty, you know, and I, I, I think I have name dropped in the past or something like that, but like I just, I'm appreciative of not only the knowledge that people have transferred to me um knowledge transfer but uh you know like i'm appreciative of people subscribing and because i'm not i want to make this understood like if i say something incorrect even if you don't agree with me like i'm fine with those comments you know like i don't it is what it is like i'm not on here to try to be everybody that knows me in person should know um, and I can be kind of hard nosed at sometimes, but, uh, you know, I don't want to be, I don't want to put off this persona. Like I'm trying to be somebody I'm not, I don't know everything. That's what I'm trying to say. And like the things I do know was because somebody else reached out and told me, or I was, I was smart enough to ask those questions to try to figure out the information. So, you know, I kind of want to just put a short video together just saying, uh, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the subs. And like why I got started doing this and I'm not gonna try I'm gonna try my best not to get in too much into my story because I do think at a later date it'd be cool to do like video specific uh, you know videos that are specific to certain things that I went through or certain things that have led me to the position I'm at in life um, and like one of the things is like sobriety and I'm not going to dive too far into it and into my like beliefs, but like YouTube helped in both of those things, you know, like, uh, whether it be sermons, whether I'm like watching sermons or like, you know, it not meaning to, but it ended up helping me with my, with my sobriety because it's informing me on like a different hobby I'm getting into and it's taking my eyes off of substance. You know what I mean? Uh, substances. So, you know, like, it's honestly a part of me wanting to tell people my opinion on things. Like, sure, that's cool. But it was also, like, wanted to put back into it because, uh, and, like, I'll probably get sidetracked on this video, but, man, like, as a man, I don't, me personally, I don't believe you're beneficial to anybody if you're just taken away. Like if you're a you're a man and you're a, you're in the family, even if you're a son, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe okay, a young man maybe because you can get a little leeway because you're gonna learn and grow. But even as a young man, like because I I take myself back and I look like you want to be able to be an asset and not just a like a consumer. Or, you know, not even going as far as to say a liability. Because, like, let's just hope that's not the case. But a consumer, you know, you want to give back. So this is a little, like, of me giving back into the YouTube world. And just maybe, hopefully, um, you know, put a little information out there that I've learned. I haven't really been doing this. Like, I mean, I think I've had uh, AK for, like, two and a half years. I really didn't get into the world, uh, world like not really, not extremely recent, but like not forever ago either. I grew up seeing 
cheap ammo but like back then i really didn't even really comprehend like back then like i've said in other videos like man i was a i was a hunter and like i really just didn't um pay much attention to semi-automatic rifles so but like uh yeah that's kind of why i got on youtube just kind of tell my story put a little info out there maybe not as much info but just like trying to help y'all with the mistakes help y'all help prevent the mistakes that i made because like I've said in videos, like I wasted a lot of money getting into this stuff. And like when I got back into guns, because so we'll put a little, like I almost had my gun rights taken away, right? I almost got charged with some semi-serious stuff. Like nothing, it was serious to me because there were some of my first charges, but like uh, in the high, like in hindsight, obviously, not like too crazy and we'll i'll put out information on this later but like i almost had my guns right, gun rights taken away so when i chose to get back into firearms i told myself i'm gonna do it a little smarter i'm not going to buy and sell and buy and sell like when i buy something i want to keep it and like i've kind of stuck to that kind of not but for the most part i have but like i just want to put this info out there that way other people don't make those stupid mistakes that i made like buying two crappy ars just to lead to a, like I'd say Zostava's mid, mid tier AK. Some people would disagree and say it's low tier. They're, I think they're personally full of crap when they say that, but that's my opinion. Um, maybe the impacts, cause I, I got, I actually got my hands on an impact the other day that was uh, in a pawn shop. I found this pawn shop. That's like super, it's like a gym, man. There was a SKS in there. And like nowadays, especially in the city where I'm from, I feel like up north, maybe like some like mill cert kind of firearms are like more popular, but like, when I seen a Walther P38, a later model is like a 70s or uh, like late 50s, early 60s model. I can't remember when they stopped production on those. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, so I just, uh, I don't want people to make those same mistakes that I made. Now, if you want to go make them, that's fine. But, uh, Speaking of Zostava, I guess I kind of did want to talk about the uh, Clayco and uh, M26 Lemon Grand or Grenade. Yeah, I about said Grand Thumb, which is crazy because the drama that cut that apparently. But anyways, I thought it was awesome. Right, um, two and a half. Hours, I watched it, dude. I was kind of like excited about it because I've got into the 26 Lemon dude. Um, probably actually, so I looked up an AK chest rig. So I just put out a video on an AK chest rig and I know I'm kind of jumping around, but I kind of really just wanted to put out some more content. Anyways, uh, I put out, uh, a video on a chest rig, looked up chest rig, saw that he was putting his together. Now I respect that and that's cool, but that's not the route I wanted to go, but I loved having that information out there. So he is a guy that's like very like strong in the way he stands and how he feels or whatever. And that's cool. But I had the maturity to, I can listen to people and excuse me, and uh, take what I want to from them. Right. If I think something's intelligent, I'll take that. If I think something don't hold a lot of weight, at least in my mind, I'm not going to suck that in. Right. Like the way he feels about this stuff. I don't, maybe impacts i think it's kind of proven right now how they're rolling uh i've got a couple it is what it is he was talking about how they're heavy like, bro life is heavy and he knows that you know he th either way i'm not i'm not trashing the guy i'm actually saying that i like the the pop the live it was pretty much like in a podcast format it felt like you know it felt like i was just listening to a podcast uh, i was watching it on tv watched the full two and a half hours like straight up I got, what was yesterday, so Thursday, got off work, watched it later on when it came out, and I liked it, man, so, you know, hush up, as far as AK world, you know, it can be like a little dicey and stuff, quit, quit, and give me a second, I'm gonna let this dog out right quick. Go, go. Um, but I 
think right now, especially like, especially how the world is, you know, they talked a lot about like viewpoints and how viewpoints, we should be able to talk to each other about how we feel about stuff and then not get to that point. And that's kind of what I want this platform to be. And that's why I'm like on stuff on in descriptions of videos I put, uh, you know, troll. I don't care, bro. Just get, get, because another reason why I started YouTube is like uh, an outlet, right? Because a dude like me, I really, especially now in life, like I don't vent to people. I don't talk to people like that. I told my wife like that and maybe one or two guys, right? So it's an outlet. And uh, I think they had a ton of valid points. I loved the, uh, I just loved it. It was cool to watch. Did I agree with everything that was said? No. And that goes for both sides. Uh, I will say, and this is not to like piggyback off of him or anything like that, but there was another video that he was saying, uh, and we, I can get into this another video. I'll just keep putting out these little TED Talks when I feel like it or when I have time. It's really not when I feel like it. I always feel like talking. You know what I mean? But uh, is it a bad time to get into the AKs? And yeah, it's a bad time, but like I wouldn't, if you get an AR, a decent AR, and you like it, but it's not feeling that like, for you, you know, you want a little something more out of a semi-automatic rifle. When I say more, I just mean like more. Like you just want a little more, I think more challenge. I'm not saying you can't get enough challenges out of an AR. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying if you feel like buying an AK and you want to pay that much money for ammo, because right now it's going 60 cent around, right? 50, 60 cent around, 50 on a good day, 45 on a great day. 60 cent pretty bare minimum if you go to academy right now because where i'm shopping i don't order a ton online and i've got my reasons for that it's just because i and i'm not i like supporting these smaller stores i know i get kind of burnt on the back end sometimes but i'm just an old school guy in the sense that i don't want to just because i can get it for cheaper online i really just don't like the online thing man uh, i have ordered stuff online obviously it's this day we live in but like I like to go into a store to purchase something and walk out. So you talk about Academy. I don't buy ammo at Cabela's, but like I'm assuming Cabela's, if they had it in stock, my Academy regularly has Norma 762 by 39. It's rocking about 13.99. Um, it's like 60 cent around or, you know, 63, something like that. That's high. Um, but if you go to, you know, it's about the same as like AR right now, uh, pretty much. So if you want to get in something, get into it. Um, don't let, don't let, yeah, you can let money stop you. But like, if you've got discipline to save your money and to focus on that, like, listen, bro, most, most people won't take their money away off of partying or spending it on smoking weed or drinking in the first place to be able to have what they want to have. They're living paycheck to paycheck. And I'm not saying everybody, I'm saying just mass, the mass, the masses, right? Um, so, wait a second, I'll let this fall back in. Come on. Um, All I'm saying is if you want to get into AKs, if you want to get into ARs, change change some life habits as you have, some bad habits, because good habits are cool. Habits aren't bad all the time. You know, good habits are, are fine, but cut out some of those bad habits and discipline yourself and save the money and buy it. And, you know, I think I've talked about this. Like, this maybe cost me... I'd say 18 to, I'd say about two grand by the end of it, 18 to two. Now, but working with it, maneuvering it, when I leave the range and I feel like, dang, I had fun today. Like the other day I went out with my brother, right? And I hit a shot 
Couldn't see the target, man. He guided me up to a 200-yard torso target in a wood line. I knew where it was, like the general direction, but like I physically couldn't see it, dude. I've got bifocals on. Bro, I couldn't see it. I have a Chinese red dot. And I want to put out a review on this because I think this definitely deserves it. But yeah, it's just cool, man. I, that two grand don't mean nothing to me because my bills are paid. You know, I'm not like, my bills are paid or whatever. So like, I ain't worried about the money I spent on this because it's gone. I can make more of it. And that has got me into a lot of trouble in my life, having that thought. But also like, money's a tool, just like this is a tool, right? And I don't get too hung up on like money comes and money goes, but who you are, your character and who you, uh, who you are, you know, means a lot. So it means a lot to me personally. So I know I got super sidetracked and a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna, I'll just go ahead and wrap this up because I know it's kind of all over the place, but I kind of, listen, I'm a jokester. I joke on a bunch of these videos. I kind of wanted to hit y'all with a little more serious of a tone. I'm still a goober dude. And, uh, it is what it is. That's just how it is, you know? But, uh, yeah. So, I got the Willie Nelson braids. Um, just thugging it. I appreciate the 500 subs. That's really why I want to do this video. I got on tangent, talked about the the live they, that the boys did. I loved it. Because it just gives me some stuff to listen to, dude. I'm not easily satisfied. But when I say I'm not easily satisfied, is like a lot of this modern day crap don't don't really appeal to me. I've changed my life. I don't do stuff I used to. I try to stay away from stuff that I used to mess with. I try to stay out of trouble. And I don't want to, like, put anything in my life that's going to take me down a bad path like I used to, like I used to be on. So, like, stuff like that, man, that's good. Like, of course, all the language, you know, or whatever. I might disagree with certain things, right? But um, it's awesome compared to what's out there man so i appreciate them guys uh appreciate y'all tuning in um more stuff coming man i think i'm gonna swap one of my optics put it on zion uh on my zion maybe make that like my spr get a suppressor i'm kind of waiting on that right now because like my kid my kid will be four months old in about a week and i just don't want to i want to save as much as i possibly can right um, because, you know, I don't, and I would suggest the same thing. Like we, we had this rule of thumb, uh, maybe five, four or five years into me and my wife dating, yeah, dating, um, like if you can't buy something three or four times, don't buy it. So maybe keep that in the, in the back of your head, get you a good savings and then go out and get you something like this. Um, or get an AR, get something, get out there, get training, uh, be who you want to be. If you want to get with me, you got to get with my friend. Or what's that Spice Girl song? If you're going to, if you're going to be my girlfriend, what? If you're going to be my boyfriend, you got to get with my friends. If you want to be my love, my lover. Sorry, wasn't a big Spice Girls fan. But, you know, I appreciate the Jews and Gentiles. Uh, appreciate my number one Savior, uh, my number one sponsor, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, and by the way, on that note, so there's there's content on my channel right now that's like many sermons by me. They don't get a lot of views. And that's, I mean, I ain't getting a ton of views anyways. The shorts are what's producing views on this channel. Um, and the views are getting up there. I mean, don't get me wrong. But I have sermons on this account. So I'm not going to push... The way I feel about, um, uh, you know, my belief system, right? Like, I don't have to, you know, like I said, my number one sponsor, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I say that in videos just just to really say, hey, I appreciate what the Lord has done for me. And if you look into me, if you ask me my story, I'll tell you what he's done for me. But I know when, how I felt not too long ago, and you couldn't tell me nothing uh, I didn't want to hear that, right? And I understand that people are in a place. I'm not saying you can't spread the gospel. So if there's anybody based, mega based on here that's going to fight me on this, they can do it. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel, right? Romans. 
uh, Romans Romans one one six Romans uh, one sixteen for I'm not ashamed of the gospel for anyway so uh, but uh, and I don't even want to say I want to be respectful the bottom line is I've got stuff on my channel that you can go and get a little into a word right. And if anybody ever needs needs help, kind of, because I think scripture hits everybody in a different way. If you want my opinion on it, and you want me to go and read it, and you want me to tell you what I think I'm hearing, then that's fine. But I'm saying I got stuff out there for that. So if you hear me say my number one sponsor, and you're like, man, this dude ain't even talking about this, or it ain't really, don't think it's like that. It's just, this is... I kind of got this platform together because I wanted to talk about firearms and kind of just a little everything. This this channel is going to be probably eventually like therapy to me, but I got some time. I'm on it. Uh, y'all y'all stay tuned, subscribe, do all that fancy dancy dancy fan stuff, and hopefully this hadn't stopped recording. Hopefully I'm still recording and I had enough space on my phone. So 